Okay, oh, while teacher is sharing the screen, good afternoon, Yanalyn Riley Abandia. Did I did I pronounce your name correctly? Hi, good afternoon. Okay, and also uh, Eliza Jane from Isabella Region 2. Okay, and also, what's this one? Who is this? Okay, uh huh. Angelic Joyce Cantano watching from Marilao Central Integrated School, Marilao North District. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can now already see my screen, right? Okay, so since I um I'm telling you a while ago that we are now on our week week two, right? So we will then be talking about or discuss about and how to compose clear and coherent sentences using the perfect tenses of verbs. And last time we have this week one topic where all we are now discussing about the tenses of the verb. Okay, anyways, quarter four, week two. Again, learners, let's read it aloud in your place. Compose. Clear and coherent sentences using the perfect tenses of verb. So bring out your pen, your activity notebook, as we do this English sixth session. All right. So let us give thanks or credit to the development team of the module that we are using this time. From the writers, editors, reviewer, layout artist, and the management team, thank you so much for your hard work. All right. And okay, I want to show you the uh, uh, your amazing output for the previous week, which was the week one. Good job for doing the additional activity, Cassandra Bravo from Gamu Central School, and also Enrico Daluntab um, from who is this one? Santa Barbara Elementary School. We also have Muriel Joyce Bulletin. Good job from San Lorenzo Ruiz Elementary School and Irian Mezacarias from Sorsogon East Central School. We also have Adrian Ray Rivera from San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School. You are all amazing. Okay, and can you give teacher high five for that? High five. Okay, now let's have our B test. I am going to see in here. Okay, or before we um before we begin, let us first try to find out how much you know about the lesson for today. So read and answer all the items in this activity and comment down or type in your answer later. All right. So for the direction learners. Here it is. Use the correct verb to complete the sentence. Choose your answers from the words inside the parenthesis, which I am going to show you. Number one, father has worked, had worked, will have worked abroad before he married our mother. What is your answer? You just have to type in or to comment the answer. Okay? So, hanapin ninyo ang sagot dyan sa parenthesis. So, you are given three options or choices in here. Learners, drop your answers now. Okay. Yes, okay. Number one, I am going to see your work here in my phone. On my phone, rather. Okay, the answer for number one is, wala pa akong nakikita ang sagot. Or baka delayed lang. Sometimes kasi it's delayed. Okay. And, oh, ayan, meron na akong nakikita ang sagot. Oh, ang dami na pala. Mark Lawton, Kevin Martin Dolontap, Francis, Ryan Andres, Cassandra Bravo has worked. Okay, let's see if your answer really is correct. And learners, the correct answer is had work. Father had worked abroad before he married our mother. Okay, and how about for he has started or had started, will have started saving for us when I was not in school yet. For number two learners, what could be our answer? What could be our answer for number two? You know, I'm so sorry, teacher, having her time to speak. It's because I have... Mm, what what do you call this one? Conquer sore. It's in here. It's a sore. 
so it's so hard to to speak but let's just do it okay so for number two what could be the possible answer or what's really the answer for number two has started sabi ni Jiro, sabi ni Mark Platon has started si Jiro had started si Shandy had started si Cassandra and Caroline had started sino kaya ang tama and let's see if your answers are right had started he had started saving for us when I was not in school yet. And let's move on to number three. Mother has helped, had helped, will have helped him save for our education before we began schooling. If it has helped, had helped, or will have helped, drop your comment or your drop your answers in a in our comment box now. Go ahead, learners. And the correct answer for number three is. Oh, while teacher, while tutor just is waiting for your answers, okay, learners, please share this um lives in your mga uh, Facebook wall so that a uh, lot lots of learners will be rich, okay. So number three, Sabini Jiro had helped. Caroline Silaba had helped. Um, and also Cassandra will have helped. Kairian May had helped. Mark Platon will have helped. Okay, learners, the correct answer for number three is had. Okay, had help. It's kind of tricky. Okay, so had help. Okay, mother had help. Number four, they have done, had done, will have done their best as our parents over the years. Is it have done, had done, or will have done? Okay, understand the sentence and then comment down your answer in our comment section down there. Okay, we're now on number four. Okay, oh, number three pa lang ang aking nakikita. How about for number four? Okay, the car, oh, meron ako nakita. Sabi ni Jiro, have done. Okay, and how about others? Si Phil, Sebastian, Sardido have done. Adrian Ray Rivera have done. Mark Platon have done. And the correct answer here, okay, is, okay, tan -ta -da -da, have done. Very good learners, you have made it. And the last one for our pretest, they have taught, had taught, will have taught us to be responsible since we were young. Is it have taught? Had thought, will have thought. Okay, what's the answer? Tingnan po natin ang number five. Okay, number five is... Okay, what is the answer for number five? Okay, may nakikita na ako. Jiro again, have thought for Jiro. Ka Alessandra Amaral, have thought. I mean, wait, it's thought. It's have thought. Okay. Tingnan nyo yung spelling ninyo. Look at this one. Thought is the past tense or past, per and per past participle for the verb what? Teach. And the one that you are typing learners, ay ano, um, past tense ng think. Okay, so tingnan nyo, tingnan nyo yung ano, yung sense ng, yung sense ng sentence. Okay, and then... Kung ano yung verb na ginagamit natin. Kevin Martin Doluntap have thought. Phil Sebastian Sardido have thought. And Cassandra Bravo have thought. Let's see if your answers were all correct. And the correct one is have thought. Okay, very good learners. Okay, for some of you, uh, for some of you who got a perfect score, I am so, so proud of you. And for those who are not, that's okay. That means we have lots. Lots of things to learn this afternoon, okay? But my challenge for you is that at the end of this session or during our assessment part, you'll be able to get a perfect score already, okay? So let's now proceed to our lesson. What what are we going to um to talk about today? Okay, it's it's this one, right? Okay, what is it? Ah, you read this, uh, everyone aloud in your places, all right? Okay, so since today, we will be talking about on how to compose clear and coherent sentences, clear, compose clear and coherent sentences using the perfect tenses of the verb. Okay, last week, 
we studied about and how to compose clear and coherent sentences using the simple tenses of verbs, all right? Okay, now, I want you to do this one, all right? So determine whether the underlined verb is in the present perfect tense, past perfect tense, or future perfect tense, okay? So ang isasagot nyo sa comment is present perfect, past perfect, or future perfect. Ready? Let's do it. Number one, mother has planned a healthy meal for the family for several weeks. I have here has planned. What tense of the verb is it? Okay, your answer, please show me, learners. Okay, oh, sa, si Eliza Jane at Regina, perfect daw sa pretest natin. Okay, number one for our lesson. Come on, show teacher your answers. Okay, Gerald R.V. de la Cantor, sabi ni Odd, uh, past perfect daw has planned. Past perfect. Okay, ano pa? Let's see. How about others? Is it past perfect, present perfect, or future perfect? Mari Platon, present perfect. Jiro, past perfect. Shandy, present perfect. Naku, dala dalawa yung ano no. Okay, so let's see if kaninong sagot ang tama. Because has planned is present perfect tense. That's has. Okay, has is present. Next, how about for number two? She had cooked a healthy breakfast for her children before she went to work. And the underlined verbs that we have here, a phrase is had cooked. Is it present perfect? Mm, past perfect or future perfect? Okay, learners, show teacher your answers. For number two, the correct answer is. Cassandra, bravo, you've got it right. Past perfect tense. Okay, and had cooked is past perfect tense. Number three, she sees to it that she will have prepared the food by lunchtime. Look at my underlined words in here. I have, I have here, will have prepared. The correct answer is, okay, let me see your comments for number three. Anong tense po ito? Okay, number three is future perfect tense. Sabi ni Carl Dominic U. Baliwas. Jiro, future then. Mark Platon, future perfect. And I guess you have made it correctly because that's really in future perfect. Number four, by weekend, mother will have gone to the market for weeks for a week's supply of food. The underline is will have gone. Anong tense po iyan ng verb? Learners, number four now. Okay, show me your answer for number four. Oh, tama yun, Joseph. Bulaklak. That's, uh, that's correct. How about now for number four? Show me your answer. Cassandra, bravo. Future perfect tense. Carl, Dominic, Baliwas. That's perf, uh, future. And Trisha, Denise, Stanislaw, Kevin, Martin, Dolontab. Let's see if your answer is really right. Okay, very good. Future perfect tense. We have the uh, we have the clue word in here will which shows or indicates that it's in the future. Anyways, five learners. By that time, she will have bought a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables. The underlined is will have bought. Okay, and the correct answer is anong tense ka itong will have bought? Number five learners. Okay. Joseph, Conrad Bolaklak, Gerald RV, okay, Shanti, that's right, Adrian Ray. Okay, number five, we have Giro Alexander Flores and also Cassandra Bravo, future perfect tense Dao. Carl Dominic Bali was that so correct. Okay, and let me see if your answer is so right. Ta da! And that's awesome. That's really future perfect tense. I am just so happy that. Um, learners, even if you're from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, you are all reciting like um synchronously, and that and that made teachers so happy about that. And who get a perfect score for this activity? That's amazing. Okay, and we are now going to discuss 
Okay, we are now going to discuss our topic. Okay, so ah, uh, I I have another thing in here. Okay, this question first before we discuss the perfect tenses of verbs. Learners, have you gone to a place which captured your interest? Um, have you gone to a place which captured your interest? Maybe you have traveled off. Uh, we have tra You have traveled before, and then you really like that place. Have you tried that? Have you gone to a place really wherein you really love that place? Because I do. Okay, and let's have this one. Come. Why? Because let's visit the beautiful province of Bicol and explore the beauty of Albay. That's Mount, uh, specifically the Mount Mayon. Who, sino ang nakapunta na ng Mount Mayon? Ng Albay. Okay. Uh, very familiar, ipapakita kong picture sa inyo kasi wala man siya ngayon, okay, nandito pala siya sa Mount Mayon, <laughs> si Tutor Ness. Okay, so here's the picture, the beautiful Mayon Volcano. It's located in Albay and Bicol region, okay? And now let us read the paragraph or passage and here because we will be discussing some phrases in there that is related to our topic today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, you read aloud huh? so that you can also practice your speaking, your speaking skill. Um, dahil mahalagang speaking skill when you are learning the English language. Okay, so Mount Mayon in Albay Bicol is considered to have the world's most perfectly formed cone due to its symmetry which was formed through layers of pyroclastic and lava flows from the past eruptions and, er and erosion. The volcano is located on the convergent boundary where the Philippine Sea Plate is driven under the Philippine Mobile Belt. Many people who have gone there admire its peaceful atmosphere. Tudor Ness and her family have visited the place as well. Wow! And they have explored Mayon Volcano for almost a day. A tourist guide has accompanied them since the first day of their tour. They love the scenic beauty of Mount Mayon, which seemed to meet the blue skies. When they had left for the city, they realized, like Tudor Ned and her family realized, the value and importance of nature. They promised themselves that by summer next year, they will have returned to the place together with their families and friends. Okay? So, yun yung pinuntahan ni Tutor Net. And as you can see, learners, meron na akong mga hinighlight dito na um, phrases. Okay? Ito yung related sa ating topic today. Okay? Take note of the following phrases. Have gone, have visited, have explored, has accompanied, had left, and will have returned. These are phrases. I mean, we have used these phrases as we read the passage, okay, the passage a while ago about the travel, okay, the travel tour of Tuturnet and her family, right? So, let's now talk about perfect tenses of verb. And ano nga ba yung mga, mga phrases na yon, all right? So, perfect tenses of verbs. Okay, uh, the present perfect tense is made up of has, have, plus the past participle form of the verb. So, it's very important in here that you know not just the past tense, okay, but the past participle of the verb, okay? Kailan natin ginagamit yung has, yung have, okay? Has is for singular, right? And have is have is for plural. We use has if, ours, if our subject is singular and we use have if our subject is plural. And then we need to know the past participle of the verb that we are going to use all right and then okay let's take a look at, let's take a look at this has plus past participle form of the verb is used when the subject is singular just like what i am telling to, telling to you a while ago okay you listen first and then uh examples in here a tourist guide has accompanied them since the first day of their tour Sheila has worked as a nurse for a year now. Okay, so a tourist guide. Okay, titingnan ninyo, ano yung subject sa sentence na ito? We have tourist guide. 
Why is a tourist guide singular ba or plural? That is singular. That's why we have used the, okay, we have used has in here instead of have because our subject is singular. Okay, and then we have has and then past participle because it has plus past participle. This is how we form this uh, present perfect. Okay, accompanied. Accompanied is the past participle of the verb accompany. All right, so same with the second sentence. Our subject is Shilla, that is singular, so we have to use has because has is singular. And then the past participle of work is worked. Okay, and we also have this one have plus past participle form the verb is used when the subject is plural. Okay, that and the and. It is also used when the subject is I or you. Okay, I and you at yung tinatawag na special subject. Okay, pag I and you, okay, uh, plural yung, uh, I mean, have yung gagamitin natin at has. All right, so example, they have explored Igba Club Cave for almost an hour. Sheila and Maricel have worked as nurses since 2015. First sentence, our subject is they. So we have the have and the past participle. Past participle of explore is explored. So they have explored. That's how, you know, we form this. But anyways, let's talk about or let's dig deeper into these three. Okay, the present, the past, and then the future. Let's have this present perfect tense of the verb. Are you still with teacher? Okay, present perfect tense, we refer to an action or state that happened or occurred at an indefinite time in the past or something that began in the past and continued up, up to the present. Again, present perfect tense, something, okay, activity or something that began in the past and continued up until now, continued up to the present. And with present perfect tense, we also use the expression for and since. Okay, you from are you got I know that you guys are familiar with the difference between uh between the use of for and since. When do we use when do we use for and when do we use since? We use since, okay. Uh, we use since in front of a finish point in time in the past. Okay, example like since since June or since January, since 1030, since last Tuesday, that's how we do it. And learners, we use for, okay, for, for what? We use for with a period of time. Let's say, for example, like for um, two years, for eight hours. That's, we can also, uh, that's how we use it. That's how we use the sense in for in this present perfect. Okay, and now, okay, let's have this one. Oh, ito pala. For is used to express the duration of the action and since is used to indicate the starting point of the action, right? Okay, I am, uh, later on, I'm going to show you examples, okay, examples. Now, let's move on the, to the past perfect tense of the verb. Okay, past perfect indicates an action that had already happened at the same point in the past. Which is expressed through the past perfect form of the verb before another action took place that is expressed in simple past form of the verb. Okay, so happened in the past and then it expressed through the past perfect form and then another action happened again but that one expressed in simple past form of the verb. And it also refers to actions that were completed before a certain or specific time in the past. The past perfect tense is formed by using the past tense of, to have, which is, ano yung, ano yung past tense ng to have? That is, that is had, right? Okay, have, had, has, had. Okay, had plus past participle form of the verb and that's how we do it. In past perfect. Okay, kung sa present perfect, the, the, the format or the form is like the uh, subject plus has, and then plus past participle, and then the object. Here in past perfect tense, okay, it should be in the past. Ha, past, nang, past tense ng has is had, right? So we have had plus past participle, and then object. I mean, the subject, had, past participle, and then your object. Okay, that's how we do it in the past perfect tense. All right, so let's take this as an example. When they had left for the city, they realized the value and importance of nature. 
right? So, Sheila had worked as a nurse before she went abroad. So, makikita nyo, dalawang, um, dalawang pangyayari that happened in the past. Okay? So, we have here, Sheila had worked. Okay, hindi tayo gumamit ng has, ha, have, has, and have ay nasa present tense iyon. So, since we are talking about the past perfect, okay, gagamitin na natin yung past tense ng has or have. That is had. Okay, the subject plus had, and then the past participle of the verb. Okay, anong verb natin dito? Work. So, past participle ay worked. Okay, and then... Um, yung object na as a nurse, tapos before, okay, another action naman, no, she went abroad, okay, she, before she went, okay, dito naman ay, in state yung second activity in here, in express ng uh, simple past tense na lang, okay, she went abroad, okay, she, the word, the sentence, she went abroad is in the past tense, the simple past tense, nakukuha po ba? Okay, that's in past, you know, past, past, Okay, that is the past, uh, how can I say that one? Past um, perfect tense of the verb. Now, let's move on to, let's move on to another examples. After Sheila and Marisol had passed the nursing licensure examination, they applied for work. Okay, ano yung unang sentence natin dito? Kasi dalawa, dalawang nangyari in the past. Pero sabi doon, pag past perfect, yung isa ay dapat in-express ng uh, past perfect and then the other one is expressed sa is expressed uh, through simple past etong unash uh, Sheila and Marisol had passed the nursing licensure examination had passed pero the second sentence expressed siya in a simple sentence i mean simple past kasi sabi they applied for work that is just simple you know simple past next I had worked as a nurse when the COVID-19 pandemic started, and you had worked as a nurse before I met you. I, the subject, had, because we aren't talking about past perfect and worked, it's because that's the past participle of work, okay? I had worked as a nurse, okay? This sentence, okay, is on sentence yan, right? Like simple sentence. Um, This one is expressed through the past perfect. And we have here, when the co the COVID nineteen pandemic started, this is in the simple uh, simple past tense sentence. Started, started. Okay, now in the past perfect tense, the expressions before, after, and when are used. So makikita niyo sa mga sentences ginagamit natin ito before, after, and when. Okay, to make up a perfect pa past perfect tense of the verb or sentence example. Right, now let's move on to future perfect tense of the verb. Ano po i? Ano po kaya ito? Well, the future perfect tense is a verb tense used when an action that will be completed sometime in the future, action na mangyayari maybe uh, like in the future, we don't know kung kailan, before another future action will take place or before a specified point in the future. It is formed by using this format. Follow this format. Diba dun sa ating, um, you remember, last week, we've talked about the simple future. And when we're doing that, we're, we're just adding will or shall before the before the verb. And same as in here. Okay? So, uh, so future perfect, we're adding will, shall. I mean, subject muna, diba? That's how we do it in a sentence. The subject, will, shall, have. Okay? Have. Okay, have. Um, plus the past participle form of the verb with either singular or plural subject. Okay, and let's ha let's take it this let's take it as an example. All right. Uh huh. By next year, they will have returned to the place together with their families. Okay, Sheila. Okay, another example is Sheila will have worked as a nurse here before. She goes abroad. Okay, a moment, please. Okay, so anong, uh, anong ginamit nating form dito? So you can see by next year. Okay, that's actually an expression stating that it's, uh, that it's in the future, right? By next year. And they is our subject. Okay, they is our subject. And look at this one. Will or shall plus have plus past participle. 
So they subject will or shall have returned. Return is the past participle of um, return. Okay, are you following? Now let's take it. Let's take these another examples. Sheila and Marisol shall have work as nurses by the end of next year, and I will have worked as a nurse by the time my father retires from work. Last one. You shall have worked as a nurse by then. Okay, you is the subject shall. Instead of using will, we've used a shall in here and then have. That's how we format and then the, uh, and then work because that is the past participle, all right? Okay, and that's how we do it or how we form the future perfect tense of the verb, all right? So take note of this. In the future perfect tense, in the future perfect tense learners, okay, expressions like before, by, by the time, by then, and by the end of are used, okay? We are using this one so that we can come up with a future perfect tense sentence. I hope that everyone can still follow. Now let's do this practice activity so that I'll know, I mean, so that we can practice our lesson for today, okay? So please ready your, your, um, your answers in there. For the direction learners, compose a clear and coherent sentence by choosing the correct perfect form of the verb in the parenthesis, which I am going to show you, okay, or to provide to you. Number one, father has planted, had planted, will have planted vegetables in the yard since last summer. Okay, since, diba, diniscuss the teacher yung kanina yung skala natin ginagamit yung since and for. Okay, learners, from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, show teacher your answer. Go ahead. Okay, let's see. Okay, Jiro, Alexander Flores, Shandi Evora, Kyle Joseph Salvador to Baon. Ah, um, Cassandra Bravo had planted, tapos has planted. Ah, meron ako nakikita has planted, like uh, three learners for has planted and another uh, three learners for had planted. Hmm, that's really the correct answer. Gwyneth Legaspina Tolentino has planted. Okay, oh, Mark Platon had planted, had planted ba? Okay, let's see if your answers are all correct. Okay, number one, it has planted. Look, father has planted vegetable in the yard since last summer. You remember when to use since and for we use this one in the present tense, right? Okay, number two, Paul. Uh, he has spent, had spent, will have spent most of his free time taking care of them for almost a year now. He has spent. Is it has spent, had spent, will have spent? Number two learners, the correct answer is... Okay, number two has spent, Sabini Jiro. Let's see if your answer is correct. Okay, that is really has spent and that is in the present perfect. Number three, the children have helped, had helped, will have helped him water the vegetables before the sun rose. Okay, the answer for number three is, okay, please comment down your answer. Number three, please. Okay, number three, had helped. Sabini Jiro. Okay, how about others? What's your answer? Have helped Kai Cal Joseph to Baon. Learners, the correct answer for number three is okay, we have here before. Okay, had helped. Okay, had helped. Number four, they said that they have enjoyed, they have enjoyed, will have enjoyed watching the plants grow. Is it in the present, past, or future perfect? What's your answer, learners? Okay, for number four, had enjoyed for zero. How about others? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about others? Kay Jiro pa lang nasagot ang nakikita ni Tudor. Had enjoyed for Adrian Ray. Well, let's, uh, let me show the answer. And it's had enjoyed. Okay, great then. Last one. Fortunately, father has harvested, had harvested, will have harvested all the fruits and vegetables when news about the typhoon came. The correct answer for number five is, okay, what is it? Okay, had enjoyed Mark Platon, Gerald Arby, correct. Very good ang sagot for number four, tama iyon. Oh, how about naman for number five? Okay, Giro Alexander Flores had harvested. Kay Flody Falcruz will have harvested. Mm, 
Kay Carl Dominic Baliwas had harvested. Okay, let's see if you've got it correctly. The correct answer is had harvested. It is in the past the perfect tense of the verb. Practice activity number two. Okay, and here come up with a clear and coherent sentence by choosing the correct perfect tense of the verb. Let's have this one. Number one. Is it I? Oh, gagay ka lang, siguro blank. I belong to Boracay by next year. Is it I have been, I has been, and I will have been? Okay, I will, is it I have been to Boracay by next year? I has been to Boracay by next year. I will have been to Boracay by next year. Learners, what's the answer for number one? Okay, number one, letter is C, A, B, or C. Okay. Uh, Eliza, Shandy, Cassandra, Flodifel, Angel, letter C. And the correct answer for number one is really letter C. Good job. We have the expression here, next year. That means that indicates a future. So, we'll have then. Correct. Number two. She, is it A, B, C? My classmate before the party started. Mm -hmm. She blanked my classmate before the party started. Okay, number two, the correct answer is, is it A, B, or C? Si Jiro, C. Bakit may question mark, ano? Okay, because Andreas. Two, C. If your answer is really letter C. Correct. She had met my classmate before she before the party started. Three, the bus. A, B, C. By the time I arrive at the station. Okay, what's the answer for number three, learners? Come on. What's the answer for number three? I still cannot see the answer in here. Okay, Jiro, again, ang bilis ni Jiro magano, sagot ah. C, si Angelic, si Den, Plodifol, Cruz, C. And the correct, oh, mayroon akong A kay Cal Joseph to Baon A. But the rest, Yendi, C. Let's see. Okay, the bus shall have left by the time I arrived at the station. That is letter C. For day A, B, C, the course by next semester. Next semester. Is it have completed? Will have completed? Had completed? Is it present, past, or future? Number four, learners. Sige nga. Come on, you can do number four. You can do it. Dapat perfect, perfect yung sagot sa number four, ha? Okay, B, may nasagot ng B. Ah, oh, lahat ng B. Very good. Shandy, Darren, Angelic, Kyle, Joseph, Flodifal, Eliza, Jane, at Eugenio, Yendi. And, excuse me, um, who's that one? Angelic Marie. Okay, the correct answer for number four is really letter B. Oh, sabi ko na yung expression, next semester, so future yon. So, we'll have completed. Last, the teachers, A, B, C, the modules by the time the classes start. Is it have made? Will have made? Um, had made? For number five, what's the answer? Go learners! Okay, learners, the correct answer is, okay, come on, show teacher your answer. Aha, may nakikita na po akong sagot. Plodifal Cruz, Jiro, Adrian Ray, Eliza, Joseph Conrad, for letter B. Let's see if your answer really is right because number five is really letter B. Okay, please give yourself a very good top on your shoulder. Very good self because you are all doing so well. Okay, so now to wrap everything what we've learned for today. Okay, learners, there are three perfect tenses of the verb and please always remember these three. The present perfect tense, the past perfect tense, and the future perfect tense. And when we say the pre when we say present perfect tense, um, this one is formed by using has or have plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, has ha the subject has have plus the past participle of the verb, and has plus the past participle for the verb. Uh, of the verb is used when the subject is singular. Have plus past participle form of the verb is used when the subject is plural. Again, has 
singular, five plural. Okay, next, the past perfect. The past perfect tense of the verb is formed by using had because the past tense of has or have is had, right? And then past participle, all right? Okay, whether it's for singular and plural, then you just have to use had because had is the past tense of has or have. Next, future perfect. Okay, how do we form it? Simply by doing the subject, will or shall, and then have plus the past participle. Okay, will, shall, plus have, plus past participle. Okay, please remember those, okay, those of forms or formats on how you guys can, you know, make a sentence using this perfect tenses of the words. Well, be it in the present, in the past, or future, all right? So, learners, let's see if you really learned something today. Okay, let's do the assessment. Rewrite the following sentences on your answer sheet, okay, maybe in a comment box na lang, using the correct perfect tense of the verb in the parentheses and then underlining it. Okay, let's have this one. For three days, Anna and her friends, okay, just, uh, you know, just uh, tell teacher is if your answer is letter A, B, or C uh, on our comment box, comment section rather. For three days, Anna and her friends, A, B, C, the five victims in the community. Is it have helped, had helped, will have helped? Let's see. Number one learners, the correct answer is... Okay, A, Puro A, Bloody Paul, Jiro, Il, uh, Eliza, Jane, Adrian, Ray, and Yendi. Because the answer is really letter A, have helped. Good. How about for number two? Since the first day, Annika has asked, had asked, will have asked for help from her parents. Is it A, B, or C? Number two, learners. Let's see. Teacher cannot see the answer yet. Okay, we have here Jiro, Lisandro, A, and Shandy Ivora, A, and the correct answer for number two is letter A has asked in the present perfect. Number three, four. The parents, A, have offered, had offered, will have offered their support for their children by the time they need it. Is it A, B, or C? Okay, learners. The correct answer, number three, is... Wow, nakakatuwa. Mga tama na yung sagot nila. I can see it. Carl Dominic Baliwas, A. Si Jiro, C. Si Darren, and he more, um, B. Oh, iba ibang sagot natin sa number three. Okay, by the time they need it, ibig sabihin hindi pa yun nangyayari. Okay, the correct answer is... Okay, Yendi and Adrian Ray Rivera, same with Liana Camille. The correct answer really for number three is letter C. We'll have offered it. By the time they need it, ibig sabihin, hindi pa naman kasi dumakating yung time na yon. Okay? It's in the future. Number four, they. A have given, B had given, C will have given their assistance to the needy for several days. Is it A, B, or C? What's the answer? Number four, now learners, go ahead. Jiro Flores, letter A. Okay, let's see. Um, another two learners. Adrian Ray and Shandy and Angelique Marie, letter A. Then oh, ta very nice. Para para sa nung sagot na natin. That's really correct. Kinikilig si teacher kasi tamang tamang mga sagot niyo. Okay, number five. After a few days, they have collected, had collected, shall have collected a lot of grocery and food supply. After a few days. Is it A, B, or C for number five? Last one, learners. Nakikita ko ang daming perfect score. Nakakatuwa. You have really listened well to that. Jiro and um, Ligaspina Tolentino. Okay. B, Eliza Jane Atwiginio. Cassandria Bravo. Angelic Marie. Yendi Cervantes. That's letter B. Let's see if that is really letter B. Okay, had collected after a few days after tapu. Okay, after pagkatapos ng ilang araw. Okay, that's that is in past perfect tense. Sino po ang nakakuha ng perfect score? Okay, give teacher high high ten na ngayon. Okay, high ten. You all did so great. Okay, learners, for the additional activity, 
Uh, I'm going to screenshot this one and post this sa ating, sa ating page and please comment your answers in there, okay? So construct meaningful sentences by using the correct perfect tense form the verb found inside the parentheses and supplying other appropriate words to complete the sentence. So in this activity, learners, I am expecting a varied answer coming from all of you, okay? Iba-iba dapat ang sagot, iba-iba dapat yung sentences. All right, next. Okay, example, the children eat and past perfect tense. So, paano yun? So, we can say like, the children had eaten all the pineapple pie before their mother arrived. Okay, it depends, anyways, it depends on how you're going to, to make a sentence using the, the, the instruction given to you. Okay, and here's your additional activity. This is what you're going to do and submit it to teacher. All right. Okay. And that's all for today. Okay. Oh, here. Submit your additional activity in here. I'm going to see that in here. And uh, yeah, I, I, we are going to check your answers also in here. Okay. So, an isa na namang makabuluhan na hapon ang natapos na talakayan sa English 6. Okay. Once again, I'm Tudor Jess from STO Pasig City, your English 6 buddy. And thank you so much. Up next is Tudor Joyce and Tudor Arnell for English 7. Thank you so much learners all over the Philippines for being with teacher all throughout this English 6 session. Okay. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.